All right, so today on Man Cave Tools, we're gonna to do a versus video between the Pilti brushless 22 volt reciprocating saw versus the Makita brushless 36 volt reciprocating saw. This is gonna be a good one. I can't believe I haven't done this video already. I had both of these tools for a while. I did do the Makita against the Milwaukee, and surprisingly, the Makita actually kept up pretty well with the Milwaukee, but the Milwaukee actually has an orbital feature which changes everything. You know, and so the same thing with Hilti. Hilti kept up with the Milwaukee, but as soon as you turn that orbital feature on, it's done. Well, let's go over the specs of these really quick and get to it. Right, let's see if I can get these to rotate. All right, so unfortunately, when it comes to the, uh, the tool specs in this video, it has to be old school, the way I used to do it, no rotating tools with these, but we are using five, two five amp hour batteries for the Makita, and the Makita weighs nine pounds and 13.2 ounces. Check really quick, battery is full, battery is full. And the Hilti with the 8 amp hour battery weighs, battery is full, 9 pounds and 7.3 ounces. Alrighty, so in this video we are going to be cutting wood and metal. For the wood we are going to use the Milwaukee Axe. This is 6 inches with 5 teeth per inch. It does have a single LED light. We will be doing speed too. It does have a metal rafter hook. We are cutting a pressure treated 2x4. We're going to do three cuts and we're going to add them together and whichever one has the less time wins. And both of them get brand new blades. Now when it comes to the Hilti, it is a lot easier to switch out blades in the collet. Both of them have an adjustable shoe. And with the Hilti, if you want to actually extend the shoe, you just push the button underneath and you could take the shoe out or have it in and adjust it at a certain depth. The rafter hook is not metal. Single LED light on the front. I could tell that the Makita did that a little faster. Uh, that is th uh, three cuts for the pressure treated two by four. All right, so next we do have a pressure treated 4x6 right here. We're using the same blades. Time. Do one more. All right, next let's do two for Hilti. Time. Oh, sorry, one more. Time. That is two for a Hilti. I don't know the test results until I edit the video, but now let's uh, switch over to metal. All right, so when it comes to the Makita situation, your collet is in the tool. It is best to just put it like that, and then you're good to go. All right, this is the Milwaukee Metal Blade. Uh, this is six inches, 18 teeth per inch. Let's see how well this tool does against this uh, inch and a half galvanized pipe. And in the future, we are gonna do another test with rebar. Let's do one more. Time. 
time. We're gonna add those two times together. And the one thing that's nice about the hill tee, it doesn't matter the position on where it's at, you just could adjust it right there, new blade in, and you're good to go. All right, so I think we're gonna do two cuts, and then we're gonna well, add the time together, and whichever one has the least amount of time is actually the winner of that test. Do one more. Oh, Hilti had a little struggle a little bit at the last part. And for the last test, we are actually going to do a couple of cuts on this. I'm sorry, I bought this iron, I bought this metal a while ago. I completely forgot what this was. So I don't want to say what metal it is if it's not. All right, so we're going to do a couple of cuts uh, each tool, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add the times together, and whichever one has the least amount of time is the winner of the task. This is also going to test out the blades. I think we're good to go. That's one cut. Let's do another one. Yeah, this is some tough steel right here. Time. That is some tough stuff right there. All right, next, let's do the Hilti. Both of the blades are doing the same test so that they're being worn out evenly between the Makita's blade and the Hilti's blade. So after that, it's got to be the tool performing against the resistance of the metal. Time. It seems like Hilti was having a little trouble when it comes to cutting this metal. All right, guys, so as you can see, that both of these tools are extremely powerful. They will get the job done. Actually, I am seriously surprised at how well the Makita actually performed. So like I said earlier in the video, that this actually was up there with the uh, Milwaukee Super Sawzall along with the Hilti, but as soon as you turn that orbital feature on, it completely changes the way that the tool will perform. And yeah, as you can see, these actually did a fantastic job cutting through metal. Also, the Milwaukee blades did as well. Now, I want to do, do uh, in the future, I want to do a duration test to see how many cuts you could actually do with these until the blades start to wear and tear. May, yeah, these, these blades are dead. Those blades are dead. But I do want to do an actual video of that itself, which that's coming in the future. I can't wait to get the Hilti Neuron stuff to where I am going to do a versus video between that and this first thing. More versus videos coming up, you guys. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. Check out the community page on the channel. I post up there to what's coming up next. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.